This is RESCO webinar about new features. Hello and welcome. My name is Uri Moik. I'm head of product here at RESCO, and I would like to welcome you to our webinar series about new features. This time we'll be talking about version 14.0 with my colleagues, Eduard Kesseli, Peter Matijik, Zuzana Barinkova, and Michal Magnusek, all fellow product managers here at RESCO. Today, as usually, this webinar will be recorded and will be available on YouTube after the session. Also, all attendees are in listen-only mode. This means that you cannot ask us questions directly, but you can write them into the GoToWebinar window, and we will answer them at the end of the webinar or perhaps afterwards via emails. So I would like to get to it and talk about our spring release, the first release of 2021, which was released on March 29th. There are actually quite a few features that we released and we would like to cover in today's webinar. First, we will talk about the inspections in RESCO Cloud, about the cloud storage option that we have added, the custom layout on reporting, and a preview feature client portal. Then, We'll tell, take a look at Houston AR calls and Realware. Inspections app for Realware will be introduced as well as updates for the Houston AR calls functionality. And finally, in two segments, we will look into the platform updates, such as route planner optimizations and much, much more. There are actually quite a few features we want to cover. So without much further ado, I would like to start and get, give my words to Eduard to talk about inspections and RESCO Cloud updates. Thank you very much, Uri. Hopefully you can see my screen sharing. So good morning and good evening to all the people listening to our spring, spring release product webinar. My name is Eduard Kesseli. I'm a product manager responsible for inspections, field service cloud. Uh, within the first quarter, our development team invested a lot of hours to deliver new stuff. So let's start with the improvement related to the inspections. I will walk you through two improvements, uh, which is, which is uh, for inspections and one preview feature. First things first, um, there has been numerous feedbacks on having possibility to work with cloud storage services with our inspections. Some companies uh, would like to store images outside internal database. Uh, this can be very important from the co cost perspective. So we are bringing the possibility to use some of the most known cloud storages such as SharePoint, Dropbox, Google G Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, or box cloud storage. Uh, so how does it work? How these cloud storages can be set up? So let's have a brief look at the next slide. How does it work? Well, it, it works with questionnaire designer. Person who is creating any inspection form can define specific path to static image or image question in the cloud. Uh, this will enable the image on the form uh, will be this will enable that image on the form will be downloaded directly from the cloud or in a case that inspector is taking pictures right at the service location those images will be uploaded to the specified location in the cloud such as SharePoint for example so this is a like pretty simple feature but I think pretty powerful let's move to the another one Moving to the next feature, so uh, this is more improvement as well, but it has also a really nice impact. So let's talk more about the reports. Um, from every single inspection, there is a possibility to create a report. We already provide more predefined styles of reports and their layouts. So as I can show you right now, this is the simple report created after inspection was done. And uh, you can see there are a group of questions. And if we take a look at the highlighted group of questions like this, those questions with answers are placed vertically in this case. Uh, those questions can be as well placed horizontally as well. 
But what we are bringing into this release that uh, we are introducing the full customization, how these questions with the group can be structured or placed, as you can see on the picture. So basically how does this works and how it is being set up? We provide the full customization directly into the questionnaire designer as well. Person defining uh, the questionnaire is able to define the group of questions and the type of layout um, he or she would like to choose. So after select selecting the custom layout, uh, th these there are possibility to place questions wherever is needed within the table. New rows and new columns can be added as well. Also as well with the border color for the specific question can be added as well. So these were the major improvements for inspections and questionnaire designer. Um, of course, there has been a lot of other stuff, but these were the most obvious ones. But let's talk about Climb Portal right now. Uh, this is the preview feature, but let me tell you how do we perceive it and what is it about. So Client Portal, it's kind of engagement hub for clients. It can be for the customers or employees or internal staff and has the possibility to provide functionalities like uh, submission of the request or case, review of the client information or assets, scheduling of appointments, or searching for the knowledge or solution on the problem that customer might have, or basically the possibilities are endless. So let's have a brief look. What do we have? How the portal is being created and activated? So. Uh, admin on the backend uh, can create several portals and they are created as a portal projects within predefined templates. We are providing so far two templates. One of them is light and the second one is dark. All can be customized. When it is created, all can be customized in a similar way as the questionnaires or as the other projects. So basically, you can see that the wood fort uh, can be really familiar for you in terms of customization. Uh, what happens next? Admin can also set up which users will have the access uh, on the access on the portal. So, and these users will receive email with login information. So, as I will switch to the another print screen, what you can see here that, oh, sorry. Yeah, so this is how it can look like on the web directly after the login. So for this use case or showcase, we have created it like this, but uh, if you can imagine that as I have showed you, everything can be customized here from the home page after the login to the left menu and to the items which are on the left menu, icons, uh, graphics, backgrounds, anything. So for example, in this showcase, what, what I'm showing right now, that uh, there can be also the planned revisions or planned inspections, which are really nicely sorted in the calendar view. There can be information about some kind of history of appointment, or even there can be an option to submit the ticket or submit the request. If customer has some kind of issue or some kind of incident, so it can be submitted directly from the portal and it will pop up as a new incident on the backend for the service agent or for the scheduler or manager, and it can be handled properly or accordingly. So let's move forward. Um, if you liked what you saw and uh, you would like to leave us some feedback or to you are curious about some kind of feedback or about the features like uh, client portal you can you can uh, leave us some kind of message on the innovations at resco.net or if you would like to learn more about the features which has been presented uh, they are also accessible more information in our in, in our wiki so and at the last point i would like to say that uh, as we are getting more experience with the inspections and we are getting feedback from you from the market, we believe that the RESCO inspections are a great tool. However, nowadays in many cases it's not enough and it does not meet all the needs and the requirements of the market. So therefore, during this quarter, we are investing more time into bringing solution which will be addressing more complex field service needs. 
such as asset maintenance or incident management. So stay tuned, more to come in following month. And now let me invite uh, my colleague, Zuzana. She will have more great news for you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eduard, and hi, everyone. So my name is Zuzana, and I'm a product manager here at Resco. And today I'll be talking about two updates, one concerning the Houston AR video calls and one Resco inspections on realware. So let me start by Houston AR video calls. In Q1 release, we've added through new, three new enhancements. The first one is the ability to use predefined arrows because, as you know, navigating someone remotely by AR drawings might not always be enough, especially when you need the instruction to be very precise. So the remote expert now has the choice of both the drawing and the arrow. The second update concerns AR availability on Android. So all devices that support the AR core library can now utilize the full Houston functionalities. And the third update relates to the UI improvements that mainly concern the web interface. So this is the the new UI on web. So basically, we got rid of the sidebar. Instead of that, we have a small toolbar on the bottom that you can drag to the sides in case it obstructs your view. The same for the for the notes window, it can be minimized. So this is a quick video demonstration. So if I'm an expert who wants to remotely navigate someone, I click on the little button in the bottom right corner. I select a color and a tool. So either an arrow or a pencil icon. So now I'm going to draw with a yellow color. So once the drawing is placed into the scene and the other user moves the device, the drawing should stick to the object. So now I click on the button again and I change color and I, I select arrow. So I tap to where I want the arrow to be pointing, and I drag my finger to define the direction and the size of the arrow. And once I lift the finger, the arrow is placed into the scene as a 3D object, so I can walk around it. And again, once the other user moves the device, the arrow should stick to where it's supposed to. So these were updates related to Houston AR video calls, now Resco inspections on RealWare Agent one if you remember last time during the winter webinar, I introduced you the, the real wear device. So just a quick recap. It's a ruggedized wearable that's fully voice operated and it's really suitable for challenging environments such as dust, noise, or rain. And because it's an Android device, our Android application natively works there. But until now, it only worked with some limitations. And these limitations concern mainly the navigation within the interface and the components within the inspections questionnaire designer. So with Q1 release, we are making most of the components that, that are available on mobile also available for the real wear, obviously just those that are relevant for the voice operated wearable device. So these can be static components or single or multiple choice question, numbers, checkboxes, option set, date or date and time, lookup, image and barcode. The other update concerning the navigation, as you might know, all clickable items within the real world interface have numbers. So until now, you are able to navigate only through comments that contain these numbers. So for example, to go into templates, I would say select item five. With the Q1 release, we've added the label names into, into commands. So you can also say templates or today's agenda. And the voice commands work offline as well. So now let me show you a three minute demo video of Resco inspections on RealWare. Templates. Pipe inspection. Account. Page down. Conan skyscraper, date and time, 
today. Okay. Now. Okay. No. Select item 13. Page down. Producer. Schindler. Barcode. Photo. Capture picture. Zoom level two. Take photo. Page down. Leak size. Six. Recommendations. Let's send a team. Accept. Save. Action. Complete with a report. Yes. Page down. Page down. Screws loosened. Page down. Plug disconnected. Page down. Measurements done. Page down. Page down. Screws tightened. Completed successfully. Yes. Action. Houston. Page down. Roland Dahl. So this was a, a demo video of the inspections on realware. Uh, just to let you know that the Houston calls are working on the realware without the air capabilities for now. So as for benefits, I believe there are many, but it's mainly the following the instructions at your own pace. The worker doesn't need to remove gloves when entering data. The, it doesn't obstruct his view, unlike some other glasses that are always in the same position. It definitely contributes to higher safety within operations and the battery life lasts really long. So why Resco? We are the only software provider on Realware to offer in one application custom visual workflows on Dynamics backend. And on top of that, we also have the remote video calls. So if you want to try or test Resco inspections on Realware, let us know and uh, we can provide you with more, more details, APK, and some, some other documentation. So now for a quick poll, uh, Jury, I will ask you to run the poll. And in the meantime, I'll give you the short introduction. So we've mm -hmm. talked about AR video calls and uh, the workflows on variables, which are both great tools to make workers more effective, autonomous, and the operations safer and with less errors. So my question to you today is, what do you think are the other areas where the frontline workers need more tools to support them? Mm -hmm. So the poll is open and should be visible to you. So you can select one or more options, more visual and offline guidance, collaboration with coworkers, quick passing of knowledge within company, capturing the tribal knowledge or other. So feel free to vote for one or more options. We are already getting some answers in. 
So I'll well wait for a couple of more seconds and then I'll close the poll and show you the results. Okay, so I'm going to close the poll in a moment. Mm -hmm. And now I, I will share with you the results. So it's 72% for more visual and offline guidance, so guides, then 56% for collaboration with coworkers or chat, then 44% uh, quick passing of knowledge within the company newsfeed, as well as capturing the tribal knowledge, and there is zero for other. Okay, great. Thanks everyone for your input and feedback. We'll work with that uh, during the next product development. And that's all from me. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, please let us know at innovations at resco.net or feel free to uh, send us a question during the Q&A. So that's all from me. Thank you. Have a great day. And over to my colleague, Peter. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Peter and today I will show you new features of Root Planner and also some upgrades that we have made in relation to tools that will help you to upgrade UI of your apps and questionnaires. I will start with Root Planner. Uh, we understand that it's very important for our users to prepare and uh, to plan visits of their customers. They prepare their trip very carefully so that they can visit as many customers as possible during limited time. To help them in this effort, we have introduced new features in our route planner. Uh, the first one is that uh, end and start location of the trip is more flexible. Users can now define up to 10 custom start and end locations. Second is that address of an appointment can be changed. If you open an, any appointment, you can find there a field that can be used to set custom visit location. Third upgrade is that you can define opening hours of an entity. So Woodford administrator can configure default opening hours for an entity using Woodford and those Default opening hours will be used until someone sets custom opening hours. So, for example, if salesperson who is also app user find out uh, on a visit that customer has different opening hours, they can have an option to correct opening hours for each entity record directly in that app. And how to set it up is something I will show you after I introduce to you a new feature in Risco Planner that is called Smart Planner. Uh, so what is smart planning? This is basically how we call optimization process that we uh, that will take opening hours and fixed appointments into account while optimizing route for users. With smart planning, appointments will not be planned outside opening hours anymore, and also appointments with date and time that is that is car carved in a stone can be fixed, and optimization process will make sure that those appointments will stay in their original slot. Uh, smart planning is still in a beta program, but you can contact us if you want to try it on your organization. Full version should be available in uh, next release. Um, now I will play short demo where I will explain how to add a new start and end location, how to change address of a visit, and how to set up opening hours and fixed appointments. First, I want to show you how to manage start and end location in your route planner. So if you want to start your journey from different location than home, work, or current location, which is already there, you can simply add up to 10 new addresses with 
this button so just click on the new and you can enter new location where you want to start your trip from you can either type it in and autocomplete will help you to select the correct address or you can pick a location on the map just like this you can also change the name of your new location for future reference so that you know and you can better identify this new location so for example you can you can call it the best hotel in boston and just simply save, save it and you can set it as start location straight away and you can see it's already here the same way here the end location set it perfect so now uh, let's check our uh, new feature here on our appointments and as i said you can also change address of your appointment so in the case that your partner is not uh, the address that is recorded in your system you can simply change uh, address of your appointment here with this new uh, section which is called custom location and it works exactly the same way as adding new start or end point so you can either type it in or pick a new location on the map and then just save it and you will be able to use it from this point uh, you can also see here two new features which are fixed appointment and opening hours those are already set up in the system so you so you can see see them here but how to add it and how to set it up so that you can use it for your uh, clients is something i will show you uh, next so what do you have to do you have to choose what entity you want to uh, add custom address on uh, sorry uh, opening hours on for this you have to go into this new section which is called opening hours here in Woodford and you see that I have already had opening hours for account so if you want to add it for a new entity you just have to cl click on add and you have to choose your entity so for example lead now you have to set up default opening hours which are openings opening hours that will be used until someone change those default opening hours to custom opening hours which may be the case where your uh, travel person uh, visit customer and they find out that opening hours have changed so they uh, simply go into uh, route planner and change it there but up to that time they can use default opening hours which can be set here so we have opening hours for every weekday and you can also split every day into two sections so for example before the lunch and after the lunch you can also du duplicate uh, your days so that you can easily add them for whole whole week if if you want to enable your your users to use also custom opening hours this is something you have to set up on a given entity you can see here that we don't have it enabled yet so what to do so that you can use it and your clients of course can use it let's save this one and let's go to admin console because i'm in uh, resco cloud so i have to set up new field 
on my entity which will be used to store those opening hours or custom opening hours so I was in the lead I go into lead entity and I have to add new field it will be single line of text so custom opening hours I will display it as custom opening hours as well and because we save it as JSON file only in one with one field I have to choose a length which will be 1000 I have to save it check the format to be single line as well so save it save and close and we can go back to Woodford into opening hours to set the correct field for is custom opening hours and here we have it custom opening hours just save save publish <coughs> And from this point, we will be also able to use it on all leads. Now, when we are in uh, Woodford, I will also show you how to add how to add uh, fixed fixed appointments. It is in this section, Smart Planning in Root Planner. And you have to enable smart planning and again choose the right field for fixed appointments. This is something you also have to set up in admin console and you have to add a new field on your entity appointment, which will be called, let's say, fixed appointments. I have it already here so it's two options type now we just save it and you will be able to use it here fixed time and opening hours Okay, uh, this was a short video to demonstrate how to set up your application in Woodford so that you can use uh, smart planning and other functions in uh, Root Planner. Now uh, I will ask you right to uh, run a short poll where uh, I want to know if, if you would be interested to try this new function, uh, smart planning. Okay, so I'm launching the poll. You should be seeing it um, immediately on your screens. We are already getting some votes in. And in a moment, I'll just close the poll. Of course, if you have any questions to this functionality or anything that you've seen, I encourage you to write them into the GoToWebinar window so we will answer them at the end of the webinar. So I think we have most of the votes in. Um, so I'll just close the poll. For this one, I won't be showing you the results, but we'll get in touch with you after the webinar. So closing the poll and back to you, Peter. Thank you very much, Virai. So now let's move on to uh, new improvements 
that are related to UI. Uh, these improvements will help you to build nicer apps and questionnaires, of course. The first option or first thing that I will show you is how you can make your forms and questionnaires look better. Uh, and you can achieve this to, with, with setting a different background color of editable fields and you can also change corner radius. For this, you can you can use new settings, uh, which are corner radius and background color. On this next screen, uh, I'll, I'm showing you how it can look like on, on mobile application and also in questionnaire. So you can see that uh, I use those round corners and different colors of background so it looks a little bit better. The second update is that you can use new formatting for new, new formatting settings, uh, which is called image fit. From now on, you can choose how to fit your images into container that you have prepared for it. Options available are fill, contain, and cover. And again, on the screen, you can see that I have combined uh, rounded corners and new settings for image to use pictures as icons in my application. And as you can see on the uh, right side, these are the new uh, settings and on the left side are settings that were available until now. Uh, we have also made some updates that are related to mobile reports. From now on, you have finer control over font size where you can adjust it in a 0.1 size uh, increment. And you can also use justify as an option for a horizontal alignment of the cells. Another new option on mobile reports is that you can keep grid together, which means that if a grid cannot be fully fit on the current page of the report, page break will be added before this grid. Like this, you can keep reports more intact. Last update related to mobile reports is an option to configure the report to, to, uh, to configure the run report command using on execute rule. With this new option, you can, for example, make report run, run automatically, use a specific report template, configure report uh, naming convention, or uh, restrict format of the report, and also you can restrict commands that can be used. There are also another uh, options, and you can find them together with exact description on our RESCO wiki page, and the link uh, which will bring you there is below. So don't hesitate, check it, and you can update uh, your applications with these new features. Uh, and the very, very last update I'm uh, very happy to announce is that from now on, you can use DocuSign not only on Android devices, but you can also use legally bind binding uh, signatures fully offline on iOS devices. So uh, this would be everything from, from me for now. So thank you. Thank you everyone and if you have any any question just don't hesitate and uh, ask thank you i will pass my word now to my colleague uh, michael thank you so much peter hi everyone my name is michael magnusek and i am integrations product manager here in resco and i have also a couple of updates and announcements about the integrations too today Let's start with the Power Automate integration. This integration allows our customers and partners to connect Resco Cloud with other business applications by easy way. Power Automate is a solution from Microsoft which allows users to integrate a lot of applications seamlessly. This integration doesn't require any programming skills or knowledge about syntax or semantic of any programming language. 
we developed the connector, which is available to integrate your RESCO cloud with any other supported application within Power Automate. We also prepared materials for partners and customers to learn how to set up the integration. Power Automate helps to build the integration as a product because each integration can be exported, imported, and published as a template in Power Automate library. You can connect many applications with RESCO Cloud in one place, such as SharePoint, OneDrive, Asana, SAP, Office, or even blockchains if you are interested in. Setup of integrations as an automatic trigger, manual trigger, or scheduler. All these options are available now for RESCO Cloud Power Automate bidirectionally. No matter which application you would like to integrate, you can set up this integration by these three modes. How to set up the integration? It's really simple. It's easy because you just, you just need to go to the flow.microsoft.com, then connect the RESCO cloud because it's listed in the uh, official connectors. Connect the other app you want to integrate and set up the flow of integration, which can be integrated by the action or scheduler. For more integrations and updates, you can find on .resco.net, uh, and you can visit to learn more about uh, a connector of Power Automate and also Microsoft official documentation of our connector there. Let's continue with another feature, RESCO Capsule. For RESCO Cloud enthusiasts, we prepared a new feature to replace the setup of RESCO Cloud projects. It calls RESCO Capsule. RESCO Capsule is a tool to encapsulate project setup, export it, install it to the targeting system, and then make your work more easier. No more starting of the project setup from scratch. For now, it's feature, this feature contains applications, projects, reports, templates, questionnaire templates, entities, and their metadata. The process is really simple. First, you need to define the capsule by mentioned parts of the capsule, which are available now. Second thing you should do is to download the capsule. And the third one is install the capsule to the targeting system or environment. This feature is available as a preview. We plan to add more data into the capsule. That's the reason why it's in the preview mode. We are happy to hear feedback from you and uh, our partners. So feel free to contact us and give us feedback about this feature on innova innovations.resco.net. You can find it now in your favorite customization tool, Woodford. For more features of Resco Capsule, you can read our web and also the documentation. Uh, the documentation of Capsule is also available on dots.resco.net. And that's all about the integration. Back to the URI. Thank you, Michal, and thank you, everyone. With this release, we have introduced a couple of preview features. So if you are interested in trying them out, to know more about them, or provide us any feedback on those, this is the email address that you see on the screen where you can reach us and where we can guide you through the process of setting them up, and we'll be happy to get the feedback from. So, I would also like to point your direction into our wiki page. Uh, you can use this short link to get to the release notes about the spring release. Well, all these features and some more are written about in more detail. All the technical details, all the explanations, and also links to the way how you can configure all of those features are available in our wiki. So for all the details, go there and um, see more information available there. And I think this is actually the end of our presentation, which brings us to the Q&A section. So again, if you have any questions, 
to the topics related to this webinar, feel free to write them into the GoToWebinar window and we will answer them. Uh, so I'm looking into the uh, into the questions section and there is one question about the DocuSign uh, integration um, and if it can be used offline or if it is used offline automatically or if it needs to be set up. Uh, so Peter let me know if uh, you'd like to answer it or I can do that for you. Uh, hi. Uh, yes, this this uh, function needs to be enabled in in Woodford, so it's not uh, used automatically, but you have to enable it in Woodford. Mm -hmm. There is documentation on our wiki page. So for the Sebastian who has written about it, I'll paste a link into the go to webinar, so you will you will get the wiki link directly there. Okay, um, let me know if there are any more questions into the GoToWebinar, but if not, then I would like to thank you for your attention today. And um, I think and I hope that we will be hearing each other again in a quarter where we will be talking about our summer release, which we are already working on and which will be again quite feature-packed as usually with Rascal. So thank you once again, and we will be in touch soon.